Close your eyes and imagine traveling through the Wild West in the 1800s. You can almost hear the sound of a lone cowboy riding his steed across the wide open plains, herding cattle from one place to another with leather gloves protecting his hands from rope burn. But what kind of life did these hard-working individuals have in the 1800s? From their everyday duties on livestock to tales of adventure, there is something magical and majestic about this bygone era that still captures our attention today. So, make sure to watch the video till the end to understand the life of a cowboy in the 1800s, or we should say, in the Wild West. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications for all our new videos. With that said, let's jump straight into the video. The golden age of the American cowboy in the latter half of the 19th century was a time of hard work and little reward. Cowboys worked long days herding cattle, often in dangerous conditions. Combining their skills as master horsemen, they risked life and limb to transport cattle from the western plains to east coast markets. Far removed from the Hollywood glamour, cowboy life in the old American West was a hard and hazardous one. Long days of hard labor, monotonous tasks, and a heavy dusting of bugs and beans were the staples of their day-to-day -day life. No matter what Hollywood might depict, the Wild West was far from a glamorous or happy place. The appeal of living freely on the western frontier drew thousands of men to cowboy life, despite its risks and hardships. The photos of the time clearly show that, even in the toughest of circumstances, there were still some smiling faces. Most people think that the 1800s was the time when cowboys began to arrive. But that's not true. The history of cowboys dates back even before that time. It was during the 16th century when the Spanish vaqueros arrived in what is now known as Texas. Along with them, they brought cattle and built ranches to house them. To assist in the herding of these animals, they employed indigenous cowboys also known as vaqueros. These skilled individuals were renowned for their roping and riding abilities, which would later be adopted by the American cowboys in the 1800s. Not all cowboys were the same. In fact, there was and still is a great amount of diversity among cowboy groups. This includes African Americans, Native Americans, and settlers from all around Europe. Vaqueros, native Mexicans who had expertise in herding and riding, were even hired by Spanish ranchers as early as the 1700s. The American Civil War gave rise to the cowboy lifestyle, as ranchers in Texas were forced to hire cowboys to maintain their 5 million strong cattle herds and bring them north. With the increased demand for beef in the north and the increased accessibility of the west due to railroad construction, native bison were hunted almost to extinction, and the land was plowed for various crops. Cattle ranching soon became an important industry in Texas, especially with the introduction of railways that allowed southern farmers to meet northern demands and send herds by train. African Americans, Chinese railroad workers, and white settlers all traveled to work in the new states, bringing a unique mix of cultures and lifestyles to the era of the cowboy. Saloons had become a significant part of the life of cowboys in the American West. They not only served as brothels, casinos, and opium dens, but also offered free lunches as an enticement for customers. These saloons often featured batwing doors at the entrance and wood-burning stoves to keep warm during the winter. Cowboy saloons were sometimes crude, while others were more refined. This provided a place for cowboys to mingle and engage in activities such as gambling, drinking, and partaking in free meals. This became a popular gathering place for cowboys in the 1800s, providing them with an escape from their often harsh life on the range. In the 1830s, cattle driving became a steady occupation. The most common route was from Texas to Missouri, or Kansas. Jesse Chisholm then mapped out the famous Chisholm Trail, running cattle 600 miles from San Antonio to Abilene. The journey was a hazardous one, with potential run-ins with Native Americans and other landowners along the way. However, the high prices of beef at the end of the journey made it worth the risk. A trail boss and a dozen cowhands usually drove up to 2,000 cattle. Longhorns were the preferred cattle for drives due to their hardy nature and need for less water than other breeds. Other routes were then established in the years that followed, but none were quite as famous as the Chisholm Trail. At that time, a 
cowboy used to spend almost all day and night with the herd, constantly taking care of them. When they were out on a drive, they had shifts of two to four hours and could get no more than six hours of sleep. To get a comfortable rest when out with the herd, cowboys used to carry bedrolls made up of feathers, canvas, or waterproof tarpaulin. These were usually full of lice and bed bugs, making it a difficult experience to get a good night's sleep. Cowboys were constantly surrounded by a giant dust cloud stirred up by their cattle. When the drives and wrangling were done, they sought refuge in local saloons and baths, taking time to purchase new clothes. Life on the range was not ideal either, as they often stayed in bunkhouses or chose to sleep out under the stars. However, some ranches had impressive mansions that offered a modestly better place to stay. When they had the opportunity, cowboys enjoyed resting indoors. But it is also true that many of them found comfort in their dusty everyday lives and preferred the great outdoors. For them, there was no place more beautiful than beneath the stars. Talking about clothing, cowboys wore hats with brims to keep the sun out of their eyes, chaps to protect their legs, and tall boots with spurs for prodding their horses. They also wore bandanas around their necks to guard against dust. The boots they wore were not ordinary boots that you see these days. They were designed with narrow toes and heels to fit securely in stirrups, yet still allow the rider to move. They were also made of leather to make them sturdy and long-lasting. Cowboys of the 1800s had an extensive language of their own. They used words both from the vaquero tradition and their own slang for all aspects of their lives. For example, a rope could be referred to as a pepper and salt rope if it was long and white and black. Other than this, metaphors like above snakes or hair case were used to indicate being alive or having a hat. They even used some Native American words when interacting with individual tribes. At that time, cowboys needed to be physically strong and must have a broad understanding of cow psychology. Courage to chase down stampeding herds or brave the elements was a must. Laziness was not an option, and those caught sleeping under the chuck wagon were met with harsh treatment. So, cowboys had to make quick decisions and know how to get cattle to take water to avoid unnecessary risks and make sure the cattle run drives smoothly. You will be surprised to know that cowboys could make anywhere from $25 to $40 a month. This was a pretty good wage for single men who had no family to support, but at that time, there was no awareness about saving money or investing it. Yes, some of them did have the ambition to save their wages and buy cattle or land of their own, but most of them used to spend their money on luxuries when they reached the towns. Cowboys also had no discrimination based on their race or ethnicity and earned the same wage. They could work as cowboys on different ranches, go on cattle drives, or find jobs in nearby towns. Cowboys from the Wild West typically ate twice a day, and their diet included bacon, beans, bread, and coffee. A cowboy was wise to only eat enough to get full, as he had to take care of his horse on long drives and through treacherous terrain. Cowboys formed powerful bonds with their horses, so much so that the best horses were even thought to understand cattle as much as their riders. These horses, known as the Ramuda, allowed cowboys to keep watch at night and complete dangerous cattle drives. Besides having close bonds to their horses, cowboys relied on the comfort of storytelling and singing. They often created new stories and songs while they were watching over the cattle or shared tales that were passed down from one cowboy to the next. These songs and stories often highlighted different aspects of their lives as cowboys. It is now clear that the life of a cowboy in the 1800s was filled with hard work, adventure, and camaraderie. Despite the hardship, these brave individuals formed a lasting legacy that stands out in American history. Today, these cowboys are remembered for their courage, resourcefulness, and dedication to the American West. So, this was all about the life of a cowboy in the 1800s. It is probably the biggest misconception about them that they were all rough and tough. They were brave men who weren't afraid to take risks while keeping their values intact. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up to show us some support. Also, let us know in the comments if you want to see more videos on similar topics. Goodbye until next time.